we are back after almost what a year almost a year yes hiatus so many things have happened hello people oh we missed you i mean we haven't missed each other because we've still been around each other the entire time a little too much but anyways <laughs> Been in solitude. <laughs> we we're are. Back. We're still in the middle of COVID. Who would have thought? We've all had it. Everybody's had it. Whole world had it. Well, you know, the thing is, it's a it's a new day. We made it through, and we're here in this new day. Damn sure. And so we're thankful. We're here, and we're in a new place. Okay, project number one. It yeah. was so many things that we had literally boiling. When did we start this? Last year? Okay. Yeah. So many things we have boiling that it was like almost too many projects at once. Um, so we have finally finished this project. Not quite, but almost. Well, I mean, we're here. It's in we're, transition. We're in the building. We're in so, here. So Herbal Triage is here. This must be the place. <laughs> and what the Herbal Triage is, is really just um, a wellness. Yes, it's a holistic sanctuary. It is an apothecary. Oh, that's good. Huh? I came up with that just now. Sanctuary. I know, I'm good. I don't know about that, but anyway, it's a place to get well. <laughs> to get well. <laughs> so we have I'm an apothecary. We have tinctures, tonics, uh, starter plants, um, a holistic creative space. You name it, anything with health and wellness, that's what we are about. And so we are in our brick and mortar, which is We'll give you a little tour. Um, not today, but we will. Uh, but we are so excited we are here. So this is the new film location. And uh, we're excited. Well, and there's lots of things to go with that. There's some online presence that you're going to see in the future. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about that. And uh, my dear daughter has been working very hard. But we had to take some time out because we had to get presidents to COVID. We had to address some issues with COVID. I had my turn last year and thankful right now I'm not in it, but we're reviving and renewing. I mean, we just didn't have COVID. We've had COVID, we've had vacations, we've had weddings, well, we we've had- we did. Yes, we've had a lot. We've had a whole lot of things. And buildings and and yes. Absolutely. Yes. So we are happy. We're going to jump right in. We're in the midst of January. Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about wellness because I mean, Immunity. Yeah, that's what everybody just needs to work on now consistently. Yeah. Um, what you got for me? Well, basically for the whole month of January, we're going to be talking about immunity. Yeah. But we're going to be um, pressing in on things that you drinking, fluids, plenty of fluids, exercising, stressing less, getting good sleep, good night's sleep, which is so important. Oh, that's so Eating hard. foods. Take it down me. That's a good one. Yeah. Probiotics, fermented yeah. foods, and a well-balanced diet. So that's kind of our complete overview for January, which we will be getting to. And today, I just want to talk about drinks. Drinks and how important it is. Well, what kind of drink are you talking about? I'm talking, about, talking about my kind of drink? No, or my kind, kind of drink. Huh? My kind of drinks. My kind of drinks, okay. we're talking about H2O. The good old-fashioned H2O. Important. So many choices, though, Aisha. Don't you think about that? I mean, so many choices. You go I mean, in and it's know. insane. I'm a, I, I literally, I can't drink cold water in the winter. I can't do cold in the cold or hot in the hot. So it's yeah. a struggle for I me in the winter with water. Um, so well, I'm you know, trying. Let me share something with you because I have the same issue and what's been working for me. What I like to do, because in the wintertime, it is hard to drink cold. But if you go just room temperature, Room temperature I need works. a little pizzazz. Okay, well, you know what? There's always the option of berries. This is true. Cucumbers. This is true. Liven up your water. It doesn't have to be dull. Who says, who wants dull water? Certainly. Whatever your favorite fruit is. Yeah. I even find pineapple is really good. Just add a little, you don't have to add a sweetener, but if you put the pineapple in overnight, it's wonderful. It infused waters, you know about infused waters. Yeah. They really do work. They do. And you get your hydration. This is true. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one way. So, you know, like at least six to eight glasses of water a day. Yes. I'm right around four and pushing it. I feel like I pee all day long with water. So, 
And you know, I really did do a study on that and I had the problem with that too. The more we pee, we think it's something, but usually if you're like your mom, I'm not saying you are, but we guzzle water because we know we need it. Yeah, try to get it over with. Yes. Yeah. But you know what? Did you know that that makes you urinate even faster? Because we're we're not drinking it like we should throughout the day, like starting early in the morning. The morning, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it works. I'm a little bit older, you know. Hopefully, a little bit more goes with that. But um, I noticed that um, when yeah. I try to sip on the water starting early, yeah, early in the day, yeah, it works for me, you know. Yeah. And whether it's uh, people like distilled water, it's easier for me to drink. But there's no minerals and nothing in it. They say it's no value. But when you're sick, that's what they give you and want to give you because you flush out everything. Yeah. And then there's a the delicious spring water. Yeah. Yes, I spring. like spring water. I'm minerals. a fan of spring yes. water. Alkaline water gives me a headache. Dr. Sadie recommends he, uh, spring water. Um, my doctor that I studied with in the school of uh, herbalism, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Christopher, it says distilled water, and then Larkin says on distilled water. There's lots of pros and cons, but to me, just make sure you drink some water. Anyway, let's yeah. just get it out. No, no tap if you can avoid it. I mean, but, but sometimes water. that's all you got, so, yeah. so you that's know, you, what you, got. With you, you can roll it, you work with what you got, yes, so, yeah. and infusing it, infusing it with uh, vitamins, minerals, but fruits I find out are really pleasing, and it makes the water go down just a little easier. What do you think? They'll be drinking a lot of water. So, moving on. <laughs> We're glad to be back. Yes, we are. We are building so much content, literally. It's too much to burst. Um, but we are here. We are back. We will be bringing you new episodes of the EHOA. We wish you so much. There are new recipes up on the blog. Um, new blog entries there so please go and check us out we are glad to be back happy new year actually my new year starts in february because we still had january shit going on mine starting in april but anyway that's another right. story hey, oh gosh i knew you're gonna go there yeah. anyhow <laughs> but i gotta want to say one thing what? listen if you got comments about water call us what no don't call us okay can't call no. us we'll leave, leave a leave comment it. okay comment. Leave a comment say something Send us the because you know what? we don't know it all about water but i'm yeah. interested in finding out yeah. i want to know don't you want to know i, well, I, I know would love to you. know what you do about water especially in the desert we're in vegas we get bottled water all the time, but we don't get necessarily all of the good bottled water. Maybe we should be drinking out the spring of, like, a, in well, the ground? You know, some places have natural wells and natural artesian aquifers and stuff like that. I mean, you know. I mean, I'll leave that to you. But anyway, can you do what she said just now and comment <laughs> on the water? We would like to hear about the water, good choices of water. And I think we can discuss that. We'll see you guys soon. See you soon.